Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with this card tutorial, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that bell button to be notified every time I release a new video. In today's video, we are going to be making this adorable Halloween card using the Halloween Kids stamp set from the Stamps of Life. And this stamp set coordinates perfectly with the Halloween Kids stamp set that the Stamps of Life is selling on HSN this month as well. So the stamp set that I'm featuring in this video is shown here. It's the Halloween Kids and it comes with this cute little mummy and this little girl witch. And these stamps are fairly large. The mummy measures three and five eighths inches tall and the witch measures four and a quarter inches tall. And they also have matching dies available. So here's a picture of the Halloween Kids set that is on sale on hsn.com from the Stamps of Life. So you can see these three images that come with that stamp set and how they all coordinate together. So I'm going to start off by coloring my images and if you want to watch the coloring go ahead and watch. If not, go ahead and fast forward until you get to the card tutorial. Once I finish coloring with my alcohol markers, I do add some Spectrum Noir of the clear glitter pen over top of that just to add some glitter. 
Next I take a piece of cardstock and the slimline card background die that came with the slimline card die set from the Stamps of Life and I layer that background die inside of the large rectangle die and die cut that out and then just make sure I poke all of those um, pieces out of that die once it comes out of your die cut machine. This card is not going to be a slimline card size so I'm going to cut this panel down and I ended up cutting it down to five and three eighths because I want it to fit on my A2 size card front. So the edges of that die cut have this little embossed line on the each of the edges. So one edge I ended up cutting off. So the second edge I just turn it around and then just cut this panel down so it's five and a quarter inches. Next I'm going to be using my Stamps of Life inks to do some ink blending and I'm putting the midnight all around the edge on the top, bottom, left and right. Then I'm going to come in with the grape and then the very middle will end up being the razzleberry. Now if you didn't cut the panel down initially that's okay but the problem is you would end up having to ink blend the entire panel and then you're not only wasting ink but also I want you to notice how that midnight ink goes around my entire edge of my cut um, panel and if I didn't cut it I wouldn't know where to put my midnight ink. I'd end up having to put it in the middle somewhere and hoping that I get my cut just right so that it would fit on the entire card. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. So it really is easier to cut your panel down before you do your ink blending. So here you see me finishing up by adding the Razzleberry to the middle, but then I decide to come in with some licorice ink around the edges just because this is a Halloween spooky night scene. Well, not really spooky because these are really cute stamps, but I do want to add a little bit of dark of the black around the edges just because of the night scene for Halloween. And then I just come in and just add a little bit more grape and blend those together, spritz that with water, put a paper towel down on top, and what that does is it just makes a really nice water effect on that background. So I'm going to be using an A2 size card base in the licorice cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of banana cardstock that's cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths, and I have two grass border dies that I cut out of the artichoke cardstock, and that is from the borders die set from the Stamps of Life. Now I did use my shadow dies to cut these images out, but I go ahead and use my scissors and I just want to fussy cut along the inside um, between the girl and her broom because these images are so large and I definitely wanted to include both of these on this card front, but I didn't want to take away from that beautiful night scene that I just ink blended and I thought the more white that I'm able to cut away from these images the more it will, the night scene will be able to show through those stamps. So next I'm going to take my um, panel that I just ink blended and I'm going to add some glue and I'm going to add it to that banana layer. And I'm going to make sure that when I add that layer to the banana cardstock that it is completely even at the top. So you want to make sure that you get it straight at the top and you will have some banana cardstock hanging past the bottom of that night scene which is perfectly okay because you're going to end up adding your grass to the bottom and that banana cardstock will not even show up. So next I'm going to take my artichoke ink and I'm just adding ink to the edges of my grass just to add some dimension and I'm going to do that for both of those panels. Notice I'm also tapping with my blending brush on top of that grass. Again that just adds more dimension to that cardstock. Next I'm going to add my larger grass panel to that die cut. So one of my grass panels, again, I don't know if you've noticed, and I didn't mention it earlier, is longer than the other. And I couldn't tell you how long it is. It's just one's longer than the other. I didn't measure it. And I'm going to trim off the excess, and that is going to be adhered flat against that card panel. Next I'm going to take my second grass border die cut. That is going to go slightly below that first one, but notice how the mummy is going to sit inside that grass. So his legs are actually going to be behind that 
top layer of grass. So when you add your glue, you want to make sure not to add glue all the way to the top edge of that grass die cut. I do use a pencil just to trace where I want that grass die to be positioned so that I know when I glue it where to position it. And the reason I do that is because if I position it too high, that mummy is going to be an, end up being too high and his head is going to be, go beyond the edge of that um, card layer. Because remember, these images are very large. So I go ahead and flip that over and just trim off the excess. And now I have my two layers of grass and then I'm going to add that entire layer to my card base. And before I glue these stamps down to my card front, I am going to position them one more time just to see what this looks like. And I decide that I want to go ahead and just trim off more white because again, the more white that I can trim off of these images, the more my night scene will show. Um, through. So I go ahead and just trim up a little bit more of this white. And before I add them to the card, I am going to do some embossing for the sentiment. So I am going to be using my Versamark embossing ink pad. I'm going to stamp up the sentiment boo and I'm going to put that down right there on my card front. And then I'm going to put some white embossing powder. And after I shake off the excess, I will heat set that with my heat tool. I didn't want to do black, a black sentiment because I thought maybe it would be too dark against that artichoke um, paper and I thought that the white you'd be able to see it much better. So next I'm going to add my images to my card front. Now I want you to notice how that mummy guy, he actually comes straight to the top of that A2 size card. So if I would have put my grass any higher, he would have been going off the edge of the card. So that's why it's important to just do a little bit measuring with, you know, maybe trace with your pencil before you lay that second layer of grass down. So I did stamp the sentiment on a stitched rectangle um, die cut that I cut out of the tangerine card stock. And that is going to go on the inside of my card. And I like to put a lighter piece of cardstock when I'm using a black card base that you can write your message inside. So that completes this card. So if you like this stamp set, you'll also want to check out the Coordinating Halloween Kids stamp set on hsn.com. From the Stamps of Life, here's a picture of the shadow box that I created, and I will go ahead and link to that video tutorial in case you are interested. So again, be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.